Here's the final review of the setup um, with the killer chiller. We've got the hot coolant coming from the supercharger. It runs into your filler neck. From the filler neck, we go to the pump, which is right here, out of the pump, and then it comes through the front of the car, and it's this line right here that runs behind the crash support and into the base of the heat exchanger for the supercharger, runs up, exits the top, and we've got a line that comes down behind the crash support through that and to the bottom port on the killer chiller cools the coolant mixture comes out of the top of the killer chiller and follow my hand up, up, up behind the crash support and then we are connecting in I've got uh, three worm clamps this one was a little bit looser it's a three-quarter copper barb copper splicer um, it was a little bit looser here. These are all three very tight. Runs through here, up and over here, and to the bottom port. There's your cool, cool coolant fluid. <clears throat> On your AC side, here's your line running out from the firewall. Up and over, prior to the compressor, here's your larger 5 8 line. We've got We've got a T down, got two, two, and two. I was able to get the hose completely over the T here and here, not quite there, but I got I got two of the barbs just past them, two clamps, and it runs, that line runs down, and then through the firewall, and then there's that line right here, come down, two clamps here, and again, on all the fittings with the AC, plenty of pag oil. Um, that's very tight. There's no O-ring there. There was no O-ring that came with it. So then it cools, comes out here, down to your TXV fitting here. And then, let's see if we can see this fitting. There it is right there. There's your TXV fitting, which is the liquid line. I've got two clamps on it. And goes up same route up and over and you see it's that smaller that line right there got that zip tied there and it comes down into that pulley and I've got that teed in there could only get the line over the barbed part of the T on all three parts because it was so tight regardless of how much pag oil I put in there. I put the two ounces of pag oil in the smaller line right about there, right before I assembled it. <clears throat> and then we've got one clamp there. We've got two clamps there, all the way up against that metal part. And we've got one clamp on the bottom of the T. Lastly, the line, the smaller line that was teed into following it back it comes up and it tees into the bottom of that test port on that main 5 8 line that exits the firewall <laughs>